All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Jehovah's who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing this word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the whole faith, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you. How about Shem Al Shai? And what I want to get into today, all right, dealing with how we see, you know, the end is manifest, you know, as the scriptures speak of, you know, and we living, you know, in some beautiful times, all right, to be a believer. It's some serious times, you know, but it's beautiful times, man. And as you know, each day goes by, you know, I can feel the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, comforting his people to go through. All right, what we got to go through, man, to make it to the other side, man, which is that salvation and their glory, you know. And we have to understand what we're seeing happening is the end, all right, of Esau Edom's kingdom. This is the end, you know. Everything he's attempting to do to forward, all right, his kingdom is ending it. And that's how you how about Shema Al Shai has this man in snares. Because Esau Edom, he prides himself, you know, off of having, you know, people in snares and traps, you know. But he doesn't understand that he's in the biggest snare and trap that there is. So when you read the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 8. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And it says, and the patient in spirit, all right, is better than the proud in spirit. And pretty much that's talking about Jacob and Esau. Because what? Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning. All right. Esau is the proud in spirit, you know. And, 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 and the elect amongst our people are the patient. Because even when you go back to the scenario with Jacob and Esau, Esau was proud when it came to the blessing and the birthright. You know? He didn't he didn't esteem the blessing and the birthright as anything of value. He just wanted what he wanted. And there was, you know, a meal at that time. You see? He told Jacob. You know, what good is that birthright to me when he was hungry? You know, that's a very proud spirit. Here it is, you born with a birthright, and you like, the hell with that. I want something to eat right now, you know? So that was a proud move that he made selling his birthright, but we know it was set up in the spirit because at the end of the day, Israel is the Lord's firstborn, all right? When you read Exodus 4 and 22, you see, but Jacob, he seen the value in that birthright. And, and even though he wasn't going to get it immediately, he wasn't going to get the benefits of it immediately. He had a patient mindset, all right, that eventually that blessing will come through. And not only for him, but for his seed. You see? So Jacob had a patient mindset, all right, and, and, and getting the blessing, man. It's the plan Esau for the blessing. Their birthright. And now we're in the time where Esau Edom, he's in the end, alright, of his blessing. And we finna <laughs> and ours is finna begin. And it's eternal. So Jacob made a good move of patience, and that's why. You know, this thing of ours is about patience, but we know we at the end. But we still have to patiently endure day for day. But we at the end of this thing, man. You know? This, we're, we're watching the end of this man's kingdom, man. It, you know, war, he gonna lose World War Three. All right? He's gonna lose the war against your shot. And he's going to captivity. This is what this thing is leading to, man. His money system gonna fail. His government, his politics gonna fail. Everything gonna fail, man. We in a time where everything is finna fail for this man. You know? 
And it's a beautiful thing because even when you get, let's get this. Um, go to the book of Sirach. Right, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 7. It said, There be nine things, all right, which I've judged in my heart to be happy. And the tent I will utter with my tongue. A man to have joy of his children, all right. And he, and it says, And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy, man. And we're in that time where we're alive watching the downfall of our chief enemy in the earth, man. You know? We're seeing the downfall of our enemy. We're seeing Esau Edom being put in scrapes. This man is scrambling to try to uphold his kingdom, man. You know? It's like a boat. They got multiple holes in it. And when you plug up one, two more pop up, man. That's how Esau is doing within his kingdom, man. He's trying to plug up all these leaks. You know, he's been exposed. All right, people are resisting his agenda. The elect is being sealed. Chariots, you know, are everywhere. The heathen nation bucking up, man. He, he, it's too much going on, man. He's being overwhelmed. You know, and it's all through you. How about Shemal Shai? So... We're in a time where we're going to see the fall of our enemies, man. And, you know, because at the end of the day, like I said, he didn't see the, 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 the joy of his children. And the only way we're going to be able to see joy within family if this man is put out of power, man. You know? Because now we're in a position really where we're in a position now where it's just so much uncertainty, <laughs> you know, in a family setup, man. Hell, you, we don't even know if our woman gonna betray us. We don't know, you know, how it's gonna be with the kids. You know, we don't, we don't know these things for certainly, man. We pray for the best, but we know, all right. In this, in this setup, anything can happen, man. Your woman can choose, you know, to bow down to the image of the beast and take the kids with her. That, that's a possibility, you know. We also know whole family's gonna be saved, man. But hey, we gotta tell you, you know, both sides of it, man. The fool. You know, the full counsel of you have about him outside. But see, when this man is moved out the way, when this man is out of power, when this beast system falls and is conquered, all right, by your howl shot, then we want to worry about these things, man. So, our main thing now, seeing this man's empire fall, man, just watching this man's empire fall, man, keep teaching while this man's empire is falling, man, you know? So I just wanted to bring that out, Lord, who are you brothers and you few sisters edified to the next time I say shout one.